Electoral reforms in Hong Kong have moved a step closer. The bill introducing the sweeping changes is now before the Legislative Council. Lawmakers have begun deliberations on the proposed overhaul. Roland Lim tells us more. Hong Kong Constitutional Affairs Minister Eric Zhang told the pro-government legislature that the sweeping changes proposed were aimed at preventing anti-China disruptors from using elections as a platform to subvert the state. The bill will introduce a vetting committee made up of two to four principal government officials with the chief executive as chair. The police under the National Security Division will conduct background checks on the candidates before being put before the committee. All non-patriots will be screened out from running as dictated by Beijing. Patriots administering Hong Kong has been made the primary consideration to ensure the smooth running of the city under the one country, two systems form of governance. We are not concerned with advantages or disadvantages. We are concerned with the implementation of the of Patriots administering Hong Kong. Uh, that's the principal consideration for us and if not the only consideration. Only 22% of seats in the new LegCo, or 20 out of 90 seats, will be directly elected by the people in the so-called geographical constituency. Critics also say that the redrawing of the geographical boundaries could weaken the chances of opposition or pro-democracy candidates, as well as the one-vote, two-seats method. The top two candidates in each geographical constituency will be voted in. The election committee, an electoral college made up of pro-establishment stalwarts, will be expanded and have expanded powers, able to choose nearly half of the legislature seats from its own ranks. The government's bill will also include a law to ban any calls from people to cast black ballots or boycott elections. The government wants to avoid the embarrassment of a low turnout should the public shun future elections. Now, the omnibus bill will affect eight key ordinances in Hong Kong, and legislators have cleared the diary to ensure that there's sufficient time to debate each individual bills. As uh, the Legislative Council is currently made up of pro-government factions, it's not a question of if, but when the electoral bills become law. The third and final reading of the bills are expected the end of next month.